Um, how many of you hate to fly? Anybody hate to fly? Well, you're looking at a big guy up here who hates to fly, right? <laughs> <laughs> and customarily what I do is I get ready to come and, and give presentations or get ready to fly. I always, for whatever reason, every time I'm about to fly, I see something about uh, something going wrong with a plane. <laughs> One night I was on my way to Atlanta and there was a show on called Why Does Plane Crash? <laughs> and I watched it. <laughs> but as I was preparing to come here and give a message, I came across a story about a Southwest flight, which I was on the Southwest flight. <laughs> going to North Carolina. And uh, the pilot was really uh, trying to talk to his flight crew, but he inadvertently hit the PA system. <laughs> and what he said was that the, we're in trouble. I think we're going down. <laughs> right, oh my God. Imagine that, imagine being in the sky and the pilot who you've entrusted, who you have put your faith in, who you prayed as you were taking off, comes over the PA system when he should be telling the joke, and he says, we're in trouble. I think we're going down. And so what happened next is that passengers went into a panic. They were pulling out their cell phones. They were crying. They were screaming. Some were thinking that, well, if this is the way that I'm going to go, it's going to be quick. Some even had the opportunity to text their loved ones and say, uh, I love you, but the plane is going down. Ladies and gentlemen, I came all the way here from Chicago to Baltimore to tell you all the youth service providers in this room that we're in trouble. I think we're going down. Now, that's not to dismiss all of the accolades, all of the awards, all of the great work that you have done with young people all across the United States, not, not to say that you have not saved lives. But it was in 1975 when my father went to work for the Illinois Department of Corrections. And in 1975, there was less than 10,000 people incarcerated in the state of Illinois. In 2014, there's close to 50,000 people incarcerated in the state of Illinois, and another 40,000 or so on some type of electronic monitoring, parole, some type of system where they have contact. I had the opportunity about five years ago to go work for Cook County Juvenile Temporary Detention Center. For those of you who are familiar with it, you know that it's the, the largest single standing detention center in the country. One of the things that struck me as I walked into the building was the fact that everyone I saw looked like me. It hurt me walking into the facility every day, seeing 300 young African-American boys detained, incarcerated. It made me beg the question, how is it possible that African-American youth only represent only about 17% of the population of youth between the ages of 10 and 17, but they represent up to 98% of those who are detained?